In the heart of the 16th century, in the grand halls of England's monarchy, emerged an ill-fated love story of King Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. This tale, however, is not your typical romance. It is a narrative draped in power, obsession, and the darker facets of human nature. Our story begins in the opulent court of King Henry VIII, a man already shackled in a loveless marriage with Catherine of Aragon. The king, known for his insatiable desire for power, pleasure, and his need for a male heir was easily ensnared by the allure of the vivacious, intelligent, passionate Anne Boleyn. She was unlike any woman he had ever met. She was a woman who dared to match his wit, who dared to challenge his authority. However, this narrative was far from a straightforward account of a king's affection for a lady-in-waiting. Rather, it was a complex saga where themes of love and desire were intricately woven with elements of personality disorders, political machinations, and religious undertones. King Henry, so smitten by Anne's charm, pursued her relentlessly. He penned passionate letters, showered her with extravagant gifts, and promised her a life of royal splendor. Yet Anne manipulatively resisted his advances, refusing to become another one of the king's many mistresses. This refusal only fueled Henry's obsession. Unable to bear the thought of not possessing Anne, he embarked on a path that would shake the very foundations of England. He challenged the sanctity of his marriage, defied the authority of the Pope, and caused a religious upheaval that led to the creation of the Church of England. All in the name of love, or perhaps in the name of obsession. And so amidst the chaos, Anne Boleyn ascended to the throne, becoming Queen Anne, the second wife of King Henry VIII. But this ascent was not born out of pure and innocent love. It was a product of power games, manipulation and strategy, of a narcissist's desire to possess, and a borderline's need to be needed and desired. Thus began a love story, or rather a power play, that would change the course of English history. Henry VIII, a king known for his ruthless tactics and volatile temper, displayed signs of what modern psychology would categorize as narcissistic personality disorder. King Henry VIII, a figure larger than life, held a grandiose sense of self-importance, viewing himself as a divine entity, anointed by God, answerable to no one. His reign was marked by a constant need for admiration, a thirst that could never be quenched. Courtiers, subjects, wives, all were expected to feed this insatiable ego, their praise and adulation his lifeblood. Yet behind this grand facade lay a chilling lack of empathy, the king's interests, desires and whims came first, often at the expense of others. He was manipulative, using his charm and power to bend wills and break hearts. King Henry VIII, a man of power and ego, was more than just a monarch, he was a textbook narcissist. Anne Boleyn, a woman of charm and wit, exhibited traits of what we now understand as borderline personality disorder. She was like a flame burning bright, volatile and combustible at times fierce but ever love-hungry and jealous. She was equally susceptible to the winds of change. Her impulsive decision-making was a hallmark of her character, a trait that, while making her life intensely interesting, also led her down paths of great turmoil. Anne had a knack for forming intense relationships, relationships that often teetered on the brink of extremity. They were passionate yet volatile, a testament to her tumultuous inner world. In her relationship with Henry VIII, she was known to alternate between idealization and devaluation, while Henry turned her attention towards other ladies at court. Anne was furious and mocked the king, a classic trait of borderline personality disorder. One moment she would place her husband on a pedestal and make love to him, and the next, she would dismiss him as unworthy. Tragic miscarriages followed emotional instability. Anne Boleyn, a queen in a tumultuous world, was a woman walking the borderline path. The volatile relationship between the narcissistic king and the borderline queen was destined for a tragic end. King Henry, the embodiment of narcissism, saw people as mere objects to fulfill his desires. When Anne Boleyn, his queen, no longer served his purpose, she was callously discarded, a common trait in narcissistic relationships. Anne, with her borderline traits, was a storm of emotions, craving love and acceptance. Her intense fear of abandonment might have led her to desperate measures, escalating conflicts with the king. Their relationship was a ticking time bomb, their personalities adding fuel to the flame. The tragic end came with Anne's execution, a brutal testament to Henry's narcissistic rage. Her life was cut short, a casualty in a game of power and control. 
In the end, their tragic love story serves as a stark reminder of the disastrous consequences when narcissism and borderline traits intertwine in a relationship. Following the tragic finale of Anne's life, we delve deeper into the individual motives behind the actions of our two key characters. Henry VIII, a king desperate for a male heir, and Anne Boleyn, a woman yearning for power and stability, were catalysts in their own tragic tale. Their personal desires, entwined with their volatile personalities, created an explosive mixture. King Henry VIII's desperation for a male heir was a driving force behind his ruthless behavior. His obsession with securing his lineage led him to disregard the feelings and well-being of those around him, especially his queen, Anne Boleyn. His narcissistic traits were further magnified by this desire, making him more detached, more ruthless. On the other hand, Anne Boleyn, a woman of ambition and intelligence, yearned for her own power and stability in the volatile royal court. Her borderline traits, coupled with her ambition, made her vulnerable and prone to impulsive decisions. Her desire to secure her position might have led her to take desperate measures, further escalating the conflicts with the king. Their individual desires added another layer of complexity to their already tumultuous relationship. It was not just a clash of personalities, but also a clash of ambitions, a deadly game of power and control. Their desires, while seemingly simple, had far-reaching consequences, ultimately leading to a tragic end.